Hello, my dear children. Welcome to our social online class. Now we are in the present uh, first lesson. Our Earth in the solar system. You know everyone. I hope you are all understood what we are discussed in the previous classes. Okay, once we are recall what we are discussed in the previous classes. Different celestial bodies in the solar system. Solar system. Right, what are that? That is the sun, sorry, the stars, planets and satellites. Overall view of those things we discussed in the previous classes. And some more other celestial bodies are also existed in the universe that we discussed in this class. We will go to discuss about those and other celestial bodies in the solar system. What are they? Those are called as Asteroids, asteroids and meteoroids, meteoroids, next uh, comets. These three areas are remaining in this uh, lesson. So, here, what is asteroids? These three, not only the asteroids, asteroids, meteoroids and the comets. Those three are also formed by at the time of origin, at the time of origin. Which is the material is separated from the main object. Gradually it is cooled. Then it is formed as a planet, satellites, asteroids, meteoroids and the comets. These asteroids also the part of planets. These asteroids is the part of planets. It is uh, composed by the rocks. Compared to the planets very small. Very small. These are also uh, move around the sun like the planets. These are also move around the sun like the plants. That means these are also getting the energy by the sun only. Right? But these asteroids is not existed all over the universe. All over the area in the universe. Just these are found between two planets. Between two planets only. What are the planets? Mars and the Jupiter. Mars and the Jupiter. These the small rocky objects are totally founded in the between the Mars and the Jupiter. This is the uh, these are the asteroids. Okay. Next one meteoroids. What is meteoroids? Here you see meteoroids is also formed by the rock and some metallic objects. Rocky and the metallic objects. These are also formed around the origin of the planets also. Right? These are also move around the sun. These are also move around the sun. But comparatively the planet, these are also the small rocky areas. Rocky areas. What is the significance of these meteoroids? What is the significance? What is the importance of the meteoroids in the solar system? Sometimes these meteoroids very uh, come near the earth. Comes near the earth. Due to this process, when it is comes near the earth, the friction of the air, the friction of the air, these meteoroids are getting more heated. Get more heated and burnt in the universe. Burnt in the universe. Very rare conditions we are soon in the we are seen in the sky. We are seen in the sky. Very rare conditions. Sir. These are burnt in the uh, air, burnt in the air or in the atmosphere. Right? When it is uh, nearer to the sun. Sometimes it is not completely burnt. It is not completely burns. The remaining material, the remaining material dropped on the earth. Dropped on the earth. That is the dangerous thing. When it is dropped on the earth, it is uh, leads to more destruction. It is caused to more destruction on the particular area where that is uh, fall on the earth. Uh, that area is totally uh, caused to that uh, is caused to more uh, destruction on the earth uh, surface economically and uh, by population lot. Like everything is totally damaged when it is. Uh, dropped on the at the surface and maximum this is very rare conditions we are seen in these situations uh, maximum these are burnt in the atmosphere also right 
and another one the comets the comets what is comets this is also the celestial body these are also move around the sun these are also move around the sun but what is the difference between the comets and other uh, celestial bodies the comets comets are um, the consist of uh, head and uh, tail the comets are consist of head and uh, tail how it is formed how it is formed it is formed by the head is formed by the head is formed by the solid form like uh, ice the head is ice and the tail is uh, formed by the gases formed by the gases sometimes very rare conditions these are also appeared on the earth surface very rare conditions one of the example the great example we have that is the halley is one of the great uh, uh, comet great comet uh, it appears in 1986 1986 we it will again it will appear on the earth uh, in 2061 that means every 76 years every 76 years uh, these comets are appeared on the earth surface these comets are appeared on the earth surface okay these are the comets these are also small rocky bodies and uh, these are what is the significance of this every 76 years these are appeared on the earth surface which is the great example of the comet halley halley is one of the great uh, example of the comet why because this was uh, invented by the discovered by the halley it is the name of the scientist uh, name by the name of this uh, halley it is called as a halley comet okay when it was appeared 1986 and again it will appeared in 2061 and uh, another important area in this lesson the last one uh, is the galaxy galaxy what is galaxy galaxy is composed by the raw stars it is a group of stars are uh, consisted in the galaxy consisted in the galaxy how many galaxies in the universe nearly as per uh, the result uh, according to the inventions of the scientist according to the result of the scientist uh, nearly 120 billion of uh, galaxies are in the solar system 120 billion of uh, galaxies are in the solar system sorry the universe the universe nearly 120 5 billion of uh, galaxies are in our uh, universe right our solar system is also in the part of galaxy like so many solar systems are in the galaxy so many solar systems are also in the galaxy our solar system is part one of the galaxy one of the galaxy what is the name of our galaxy every galaxy has one name our galaxy is called by the milky way what is the name of our galaxy is the milky way milky way okay once upon a time our ancestors according to our mythological stories it is called as akasha ganga what is the name of this akasha ganga okay this this is in the part of universe okay these are the information in this textbook please everyone Uh, final over of the lesson is uh, uh, totally ended in this uh, uh, again what we are discussing the over all the classes about what the uh, different celestial bodies in, uh, in the universe that is the sun sorry the stars and the planets and the satellites and <coughs> the asteroids and meteorites comets and galaxy and the universe we were discussed in the last area okay please uh, everyone to read the textbook completely and uh, write the important points from every side heading thank you to everyone